I denounce white supremacy, okay? Wait, are you listening? I denounce white supremacy. Okay. What's your next question? You- I denounce white supremacy. Okay. You start off with white supremacy, I denounce it. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specific- that? I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. Any group of hate, I am, whether it's white supremacy, whether it's any other kind of supremacy, whether it's Antifa, whether it's any group of hate. I am very concerned about it, and I'll do something about it. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Racism is evil. And those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. From David Duke. I didn't even know he endorsed me. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow. Okay. What about the David Duke is saying to his supporters and followers, vote for Donald Trump. White supremacists are saying, vote. do you want those votes? No, I don't want them. And I don't want him to say it. Let me ask you about this one. Uh, are you ready before you ask the question? Newt Gingrich said every Republican should repudiate this guy I no did. matter what it takes. And I do. Right. Rebuked. Is that okay? Rebuked. Rebuked. Done. Done. When Chris joined, we had a news conference, and they asked me the exact same question. I said, I disavow. I put out a tweet, and I put out on Facebook that I totally disavow. And I disavowed then. I disavowed today on ABC with George Stephanopoulos. I disavowed again. I mean, how many times are you supposed to disavow? But I disavow. Uh, Secondly, uh, David Duke and all were disavowed. I disavowed him on Friday. I disavowed him on Twitter and Facebook. They were disavowed again. I disavowed him every time I speak to somebody virtually. It was totally disavowed. So are you prepared right now to make a clear and unequivocal statement renouncing the support of all white supremacists? Of course I am. Of course I am. I mean, there's nobody that's done so much for equality as I have. You know, uh, David Duke is a bad person who I disavowed on numerous occasions over the years. I disavowed him. I disavowed the KKK. It it, the it, just to put it clear, I disavowed him in the past, and I disavow him now. What do you see as the biggest problem with the Reform Party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined, a bigot, a racist a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. And I disavowed David Duke, and I disavowed him the day before at a major news conference, but I disavowed David Duke. Now, if you look on Facebook, right after that, I also disavowed David Duke. When we looked at it and looked at the question, I disavowed David Duke. So I've disavowed David Duke all weekend long on Facebook, on Twitter, and obviously it's never enough. How do you feel about the David Duke quasi-endorsement? I don't need anybody's endorsement. I'm not looking for... David Duke? Sure. How many times do I have to reject? I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. From the time I'm five years old, I rejected them. Uh, David Duke and robocalls are out again, the white supremacist movement supporting you. Uh, do you have any know. words for that? Well, I disavow. The Ku Klux Klan, which obviously I'm going to disavow. Do you want white supremacists to vote for you? No, I don't at all. Not at all. And I will tell you, this is not about hate. This is about love. I have to say, I've said it many times, and let me be clear again. I condemn the KKK. I condemn all white supremacists. I condemn the Proud Boys. I spoke out forcefully against hatred, bigotry, and violence, and strongly condemned the neo-Nazis, the white supremacists, and the KKK. So here is my first statement when I heard about Charlottesville. We're closely following the terrible events unfolding in Charlottesville, Virginia. This is me speaking. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America.